What up, what up, Wimbush here. And one question I get asked a lot, especially people new to Unreal Engine, is whenever they import like an OBJ or an FBX, everything comes in exploded. Let me show you an example. So dragging over right now, my Windows Explorer, and as you can see, I have an FBX right here. I'm just going to left click, drag it down here into Unreal Engine 5, and I'm not going to change anything inside of my settings. I'm just going to come down here to import all. And if I look down here in my content browser, you can see I brought in a Nintendo Switch, but everything is exploded out into its own static mesh. Now, if I selected all of the meshes and I actually drag them in all at once, everything will be combined. But if I turn around, like everything looks as is, but if I come over here to my outliner, you can see that we have each individual piece separated, which might work for you. But for a lot of people, they just want this all as one static mesh. So a way to get around this is if I come back over here to my content browser, I'm actually going to go into a new folder and then I'm going to pull back up my Windows Explorer. I'm going to take that same FBX, left click, drag it into my content browser. And this time under FBX import options, if I come right here under mesh, right here where this tab says advanced, if I left click on this and I come down here, you can see we have a tab for combined meshes. Now this is going to combine everything into one mesh. So I'm going to click this on and same thing as before, import all. And now you can see we have a mesh as one object here. So I could left click and drag it into my scene. And now we have our Nintendo Switch inside of our scene. And if I look at my outliner, it's all one piece. Now, if I come down here under my details panel and look under the materials, you can see that even though we have a bunch of pieces here, it only brought in five materials. Now, let me open up Cinema 4D and show you exactly how this is built out. So inside of Cinema 4D, you can see that we do have individual meshes for everything from the buttons to the screen to the actual controller. But if you notice under materials, I only have five materials here. And so this is important when you're importing from any DCC into Unreal. If you only have a set amount of materials, this is all that's going to be available for you if you bring it in as one mesh. And that's why if I come back over here, where we have the exploded meshes, you can actually individually put materials on each one of these. And so that's just going to be a give and take thing. But if you do bring it into as one mesh and you want to have each one of these be separate for a material, you're going to have to make a material for each one of these independent pieces here. So that's just something to be leery of if you're going to bring it in as a combined mesh. Now, the same exact thing is going to go for if you're using UEFM, that's Unreal Engine for Fortnite. And so as you can see, I have it opened up right here and I'm going to bring up my Windows Explorer. I'm going to drag and drop the switch into my content browser. And it's the same exact import options as before right here under mesh. I'm going to click on advanced and right here where you see combined meshes, you want to make sure you have this checked on. I'm going to import all and there we go. So now I have my Nintendo switch that I could drag in here and put it into my items for Fortnite. So hopefully that helped you guys out. I know for a lot of new people on Unreal Engine, this is something that often trips them up. So hopefully this tip is something that could get you going. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for videos just like this. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.